All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be answering Avrami Segal's question. So um, basically he's asking ads manager or power editor and why? So what's the difference? What's the difference between the ads manager and the power ed editor? And uh, why should you use both in this case? So ads manager, it's basically the place where you analyze your ads, where you optimize them, where you turn off the ad sets, where you turn off the ads, you can turn off the campaigns, you can see the stats like the click rate, the cost per click, um, impressions, uh, the reach, the frequency, the cost per lead, the cost per sale, purchase conversion value, add to carts, um, etc. You, you're just going to be able to see all the data you need, how many people clicked your ad, how many clip people clicked through your ad and went to your landing page. Um, all that sort of stuff that's you see it in the in the ads manager now second on the power editor power editor is where you actually create your campaigns where you create the campaign where you launch the ad sets and you can decide if you include 10 different ad sets um, with different interests for their targeting you decide if you want to duplicate the ads to test different images so the power editor is the place where you create and the ads manager is the place where you analyze your stats and you optimize, okay? And the optimizing, I mean mainly turning off the ad sets that, the, the ad sets that didn't perform as well, um, turning on off the ads that didn't perform as well, and just leave what's performing running. So that's the big uh, difference, Aramie. Ads managers where you analyze and where you optimize, where you, where you scale, where you increase the budget, where, where you decrease the budget. And the power editor is just basically to create. So on the power editor, you, you're, you're not gonna be using it to analyze stats and to optimize where, which actually you do, you can. You can turn off ads and do all that stuff in the power editor, but it's just easier to do it on the ads manager because in here, it's where you are analyzing the stats and you can just say, okay, this, this, and this is not performing as I want. So you pause it and this, this, and this is actually performing how, how I want. And then you just let it run. You can actually increase the budget, which is what I do in every single ad set that is performing the way I want. And um, that's pretty much it. It's not a big deal uh you have to use both you can actually create ads without using the power editor but it's been like years since i've done it that way so i don't really remember how it's done so i always suggest people to use the power editor to create the ads and then the ads manager to analyze optimize and scale the campaigns so Abrami, i hope this answered your question i hope this is clear uh if you have any more questions or anyone else watching the video make sure you type them in the comments below i'll create a video personally answering it and we'll see you in the next one all right, so if you got value out of this video and want to learn more, simply click on the link below or go to estebangomez.net forward slash course where you're going to get access to my Facebook advertising one-on-one course. It's going to teach you all the fundamentals from A to C on how to launch your first successful campaign, everything from how to do market research, how to do audience research, how to create an ad, and how to launch your first successful Facebook campaign. So if this is something you're interested in, simply click on the link below this video or go to estebangomez.net forward slash course and I'll see you on the inside.